A subject that we've already spoken about a little is um, the subject of katvanga staffs, um, tantric staffs or staves, um, the kakara, the monk's um, walking stick, um, the, and the gandhi that's held in uh, most most um, typically in the in the arms of uh, Panjanata Mahakala or Gompo Maning of the Nyingma. And then there's tribal um, shamanistic um, forms of, of, uh, of staff. So what's important here is that, is that you're able to uh, differentiate between the different types of staves, uh, the different types and uh, their appearance and their uses. So the Katvanga is actually, we can probably say, is a Buddhist Vajrayana tantric staff. I think we have to say that it's primarily coming out of the Chakrasambara cycle of tantras. And we also, the most famous figure that probably holds it is probably Padmasambhava in his, um, in his kind of a king appearance, in his uh, human appearance. Um, so, but then we have the trident. The, the trident is something that we do find, and we find it with uh, the Mahasiddha Virupa, and we can find it with some others as well. Um, and then we, of course, have the trident as the main uh, symbol for the Hindu god Shiva. The, we also have uh, the Vajra. Now, I know the Vajra is not a staff, technically, but we do have examples in art of Buddhist deities where they are supposed to be depicted with a trident, such as Simhanada Avalokiteshvara, where that uh, trident can be depicted as a three-pronged Vajra. I have also seen recently translations from Tibetan to English where the the word Katvanga, which is actually, I believe, a Sanskrit borrowed word, and uh, it's used in Tibetan as Katvanga, uh, but that word is translated into English as trident rather than as left as as katvanka or tantric staff. Um, so my real point here is that there is some confusion uh, that people are having uh, which has become apparent in some translations and that's not just one translation. I've seen several translations now where katvanga is translated as trident in a Buddhist text. Um, so we really need to know the differences. We need to know what the different types of staves are. The Kadvanga, the Trident, the Kakara, and the Gandhi, and then Tribal. And then we have to know uh, what traditions they might belong to, and we have to know a little bit um, uh, their function, what they're supposed to do, because that helps us to know where they would normally appear and what context they're, they're shown in. So, um, just a little update on staves. So you can press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har and Patreon, and you can make a donation to Himalayan Art Resources on our homepage.